MalibuWine.com or 818-865-0605. Live across America, Mike Horn and Paul Stern and What's Cooking on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Hey, welcome to the big What's Cooking program, Hour 2. I'm Michael Horn. Say hello to Paul Stern. Well, hello, Michael Horn. An exciting edition of What's Cooking Ahead. The nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. Who's on the big broadcast today, Paul? Well, today we're joined in studio by executive chef at the Playboy Mansion, uh, William Bloxham Carter. The rock and roll chef, ladies and gentlemen, direct from the Playboy Mansion, and direct from the San Francisco uh, Chronicle Wine Competition, I think he's going to spill the beans on uh, some of the great wines that are there, Paul Stern. That is one of the biggest, one of the best, uh, the San Francisco Wine Competition, uh, the Chronicle. They do it each and every year, and uh, we're glad to have our own uh, uh, William Bloxham Carter here to give us all the details. Who else on the show, Paul? Uh, we're going to talk about a, a whole lot of other things, uh, various uh, uh, interesting aspects of dining and food here on today's program as well. Other things? No other guests? Just the chef on the broadcast today? As far as I know. Wow. Which, uh, I again, was hoping I, we I, had I, that the second guest was supposed I, to be I coming could, in. I, I, I don't know. Uh, 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 we could stand to be corrected, but if that is not the case, uh, definitely uh, uh, Bill Carter from the... Uh, if I if I said already the uh, Playboy man. Oh yeah, because he's got the uh, you know he'll he'll be here. He's got he the uh, chef's coat on. He is ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a ba- great big show. So everything's died down a little bit on this Ricky Gervais. Apparently the uh, the Golden Globe Awards, Paul Stern did very well, bigger, better ratings than they did the year before. Will they have Ricky Gervais back doing? Uh, you know, uh, stretching the line on some of the jokes, why he was even making comments on uh, Chef William Bloxham Carter's uh, boss. And uh, Gervais, uh, will you think he'll be back or not? What do you think, Paul? <laughs> I don't know, but the, the, I guess the people over at the, was it the, the Beverly uh, Hilton Hotel that uh, they put on the event, uh, certainly pleased with all the attention that everybody's been getting uh, due to the very high ratings. So yeah, uh, if that's any indication if he'll be back, uh, I think we'll be seeing him next year. Now, you know, the rose is a beautiful flower, and over the years, many new varieties varieties of roses come out and we don't usually talk a lot of gardening or roses here on this show but uh, I, I think it's nice to note that there are some new rose varieties out in the new year everything coming up roses and one of them uh, needs some recognition here it is the Dick Clark it is a long stem large bloom uh, it's kind of the offspring of the famous uh, 4th of July uh, a rose it's a name for the, America's oldest teenager Dick Clark and uh, you can get that now. Uh, has a uh, the color has a creamy white edge, cherry pink. Uh, it blushes to burgundy, and when the sun strikes its petals, it looks incredible. The foliage is uh, uh, very deep green, and it has about 30 petal counts. And it smells a little. And this is those of you that love to uh, taste wine and check what the nuances are of the nose of the wine. This fragrance of the Dick Clark Rose has cinnamon spice. So uh, be looking for that. The other new varietals out are Walking on Sunshine, White Licorice, Be My Baby, and J&P Merlot Hybrid Tea. How do you like that? Uh, one named after wine. New one, Dick Clark, the new rose out there. What do you think of them apples? There to go. Dick Clark, uh, definitely uh, not necessarily on television as much as he used to, but uh, certainly uh, his scent uh, continues. You don't suppose Ryan Seacrest is the gardener behind this has been planting it. You know how Ryan likes to get in on all these things over there. You think Ryan Seacrest is possibly doing some gardening work and got this one pushed through? Could have stock in the company. What do you think? I just thought of that right now. I'm not casting any aspersions, but maybe we should check with Seacrest and find out if there's a problem. All right, we continue here straight ahead. I'll on. take a dozen Dick Clarks. That's good. Bring over our new gardening service, the Ryan Seacrest Gardening Service. Got to be them for you. Got to be careful when you say that. Yeah, they're beautiful too. Did I tell you, cinnamon spice, kind of the fragrance on those. All right, straight ahead, the rock and roll chef, ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Chef William Bloxham Carter from the Playboy Mansion. Stay with us on CRN Digital Talk Radio. CRN Travelers, 